The popularity of indoor training has gone through the roof in the last year, with new tech making it a lot more exciting to ride from the comfort of your own home than it used to be. If you've never tried indoor training before, or you have and you just haven't enjoyed it and found it a chore, in this video we're going to give you some tips on gadgets that could improve your indoor training experience and make it a lot more enjoyable. We have enjoyed seeing all of your indoor training hacks and bodges over on the GCN app, so if you do need some inspiration, head over there and check them out. If you're searching for a realistic outdoor experience indoors, then check this out. This is the Wahoo Kicker Climb Indoor Gradient Simulator. It attaches to your front forks and it can ascend up to a gradient of 20% and descend to a gradient of 10%. And it can also replicate the gradient that shows on your screen if you are using Zwift, or you can change it manually with this little controller. There's no avoiding the hills indoors anymore. This would be top of my list of gadgets to have in the indoor pain cave, a fan. And even if you already have a fan, you can never have too many fans. It is impossible to train indoors without getting a sweat on, but a fan is definitely going to help keep you cool. Sweat from high heat can have a massive impact on your performance. If you are training indoors or at home, it is likely to be a lot hotter, making you sweat more and you'll see an increase in your heart rate. Personally, I find a massive difference in my performance when I do have the fan on compared to if I don't. My power output is just so much more. And this fan in particular, the Kick Headwind, is very clever. It'll connect up to your heart rate, so when your heart rate increases, the wind resistance from the fan will increase as well. So you don't have to get off mid-effort and press a button for more wind to come out. You can just carry on and it'll increase on its own. It's pretty clever, huh? Protect that beautiful bike of yours and save on constantly having to wipe it down and the risk of getting corrosion in any of the components with a sweat guard. Now these can be easily clipped onto your handlebars and they run back and clip on to your saddle as well. And when you finish, you can just take it off and pop it in the wash with the rescue kit. I actually forgot mine today, but luckily I'm not, I'm not sweating too much today, so I don't need it. You'd be surprised how much sweat can affect your bike. It can start to get pretty grotty and rusty, and even your handlebar tape. You want to make sure to change that after a big block of indoor training, because if you don't, well, it can get pretty gruesome. I know firsthand it wasn't very nice. But if worse does come to worse, you can just drape a towel over your handlebars and your top tube, and that should save your bike. It's not that long ago that riding indoors meant staring at a wall rather uninspiring. Thankfully, things have changed and there are now various apps and online platforms to keep you occupied. Be Cool were the first to offer a virtual riding platform. And the interesting thing about Be Cool is that they have a variety of different viewpoints. They have real-time riding as well as virtual riding. There's also a huge array of different routes and destinations to choose from, with more being added all the time. It is actually possible now to film your ride out on the road, and then when you get back, you can upload it together with a GPX file and actually create that ride, but in the virtual world. This means you can quite easily choose to go for a spin up a mountain in Colombia or race up numerous alpine ascents in the Tour de France, all from the comfort of your own home, of course. And that is on one of those three views too. So you really have the power to explore the world through the platform and ride with people from all over the world too. There's also the likes of Zwift, where you can ride with thousands of other cyclists in the world. It offers races, or if you're not competitive, you can just ride along or complete a structured workout. These are great ways to pass the time on the indoor trainer. Before you know it, your workout has flown by and you haven't even noticed. And these are really good because it just doesn't feel like you're riding indoors. If you are already into Zwift racing, then this gadget is for you. Have you ever been in a critical part of a race and you need to use your power up, but your laptop screen's too far away or your phone or even your hands have been too sweaty to touch the screen? Well, this e-racing controller is just what you need. You can connect it to your handlebars and it'll connect directly up to Zwift. All you have to do is press the button on your handlebars and it activates your power up. Pretty cool, huh? If you don't currently have a way of tracking your workout, then why not invest in a watch or a band like this Whoop? You don't even have to do anything once it's up and running. It will automatically detect when you do exercise through your heart rate. So it'll collect all the data whilst you ride. And then once you finish, it will save it and you can look back at it to see just how hard you've pushed yourself. 
It also calculates your recovery and gives you a score. So you know when you are fully recovered and ready to smash another session. And it also tells you if you have a low recovery score. If you do, you might want to take a rest day. If you fancy learning some new skills and maybe a few new tricks, then rollers is the way forward. Okay, your skills don't have to be that good. That was seriously impressive. But rollers do take a lot of practice. It's one of those skills that'll have you up late at night trying to master. But once you've got it, you've got it. You won't be able to lose concentration the same you would on a static bike. Every pedal stroke matters and you really do have to concentrate. You can do lots of different drills and they are really good if you do have a little bit of a bad habit of moving around too much on the bike. It'll get you solid as a rock and they are really good for working on your cadence too. The great thing about riding indoors is that you can listen to music without having to worry about traffic and other dangers. If you are constantly finding yourself getting tangled up in your headphone wires, then why not invest in a Bluetooth set of wireless headphones? Or even better, you could go hi-fi, a full setup, stick the radio on, or even listen to the world of Zwift. Now this one's a more of a what's next for indoor training gadgets, but keep your eyes peeled for VR everything. We have seen a few VR demos, but we haven't seen anything mainstream yet. I, for one, can't imagine doing a full gas effort with a headset on. Imagine the sweat in that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any of your own favourite indoor training gadgets, then please leave them in the comment section below, as I'd love to read them. And if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. 